Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Beastars season 2 episode number 9. Alright, uh, the previous episode. Um, in the previous episode there was a little bit of, uh, not backstory, but a little bit of a portion where they showed us how uh, the cheetah, I do not remember her name, the cheetah and uh, the, I think the sheep, uh, those two how they like spent their days and everything even like with all the carnivore um, Like protesters going on against the carnivores and how they're like discriminated against um, Even like in that situation how they're good friends that and um, Like and then we saw um, Legoshi and Gohin and Legoshi kind of uh you know, uh, go, like is Lohish, Ligoshi is going to train his limbs now instead of his jaw. Like he won't use his jaw because obviously herbivores, like he needs to protect them. So if he uses the jaw, it like defeats the purpose of it. So yeah, he'll like uh, use his limbs and fight from now on. And uh, that, and then there was this whole thing with Haru and uh, Juno, them kind of bonding for a little bit. And Juno kind of, uh, you know, venting her stress on Haru. But I'm sure they'll become friends eventually. You know, uh, the way they, you know, they interacted. I'm sure that someday they'll become friends. And uh, then in the end, we see like Haru uh, calling uh, Louis, but Louis throwing off the phone because he has, you know, left his past behind. He is uh, delving into the territory where he has to. Uh, leave his past behind otherwise he won't be able to um, like go on so yeah that and we also got a little bit of Ibuki that uh, lions a little bit of like how he lived his life uh, he also has kind of a mark which shows that he was probably going to sell his own meat for money or something uh, so yeah that and like they kind of connected you know because Louis was also kind of in the same position. So yeah, without further ado, uh, let's get started with this episode, episode number 9 of Beastars Season 2. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, there you go. <coughs> okay, so I'm really curious, like we kind of forgot about the whole, you know, the them situation. Like in the previous episode, like there was no mention of that. Uh, they kind of found the culprit. So I'm sure like in, in this episode, are we going to get more of that? Uh, the whole situation with that bear, uh, I forgot the bear's name. But anyways, I'm sure they'll mention it in the upcoming episodes, you know. Uh. Okay, let's see. Okay. Thanks to the Harvey Force. That's the hmm. Unable to get a hold of the I forty four. Could have been stolen, all right. Erect electric fan. Okay, what's with the name of this? I have a fault of sense. Oh. Uh, okay, so he can 
you know recognize most easy to reach drawer oh Louis <laughs> this is daydream <laughs> oh boy Oh, so that's why. Okay. Let's go. Let's have some fist fight, you know, or whatever. The melee combat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's see your training. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, damn. Flying, but piercing and okay. Oh. Okay, that was a simulation. Oh, I was thinking it was... Okay, let's see. Come on. Okay. Damn, Ligoshi is becoming a, you know, one of those martial artists. Like, calculating each and every... Okay, what was... Who was that? I did not see. Because of the dark. Oh! <laughs> Damn, Ligoshi. <laughs> oh, is that so? So, like practical training or something? Yeah, that's true. Okay, who can be his ally? Um... Who is this? Oh, oh there is patience, okay. Hmm, okay. Whoa. All right. Like, you know, they can't do anything about this predatory instincts. No, like, that was not their fault. That's why. Like. Exactly, you know. Punishment was the way to peace. The world isn't that simple. Yeah. Yeah, like if if you send them to prison, what would it even do? Like you know, like he he or she would be in prison for a few months or few years. Okay, it's attached. And then after coming back, he or she will do it again. So instead of that, do you know? Like go for treatment. Oh. Yeah. Okay.
ओके ओके दे मेड अप गुड या लाइक एट दैट मोमेंट इन द हीट ऑफ द मोमेंट ही काइंड ऑफ यू नो फ्रिक्ट आउट बट दैट वाज बिकॉज़ ऑफ द सिचुएशन वाओ ओके आई नेवर थॉट दैट दे वुड मेक अप सो क्विकली यू नो दैट्स गुड ओके लेट्स सी हु इज द Who is this? Wait. Wait. How is Legoshi here? Wait. What? What is Legoshi doing? Wait. He was fight. Did did he get mixed up into this situation? <laughs> Freaking tail! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Luis is like. Okay. um louis actually no so what happened like did he get mixed up in the situation somehow and louis is misunderstanding oh boy ओके हम्म लेट्स सी व्हाट ट्रूथ यू सी लुइस आर यू ओके vegetable juice yes like oh i'm i'm louis is uh, lego she's like ah what is this this is something that i've Yeah, extremely particular, you know. Like I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> Both of them are faking it. So Oh my god, this is good, you know. he'll play the opposite <laughs> okay
<laughs> still. Yeah. This <laughs> cool body watch. <laughs> okay, let go. She calm down. <laughs> and he's even more stronger, you know. Um, yeah, mm, yeah, kind of, you know, but like, but. No, that's not it, but... Oh boy, Legoshi. Hmm. Yeah. Even if they don't need him, he's he still will be here. Um uh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh, great. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, he doesn't want to go. Oof, damn! Oh, come on! Let's go! Dignity of a heart before. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's why.
Oof. <laughs> Damn, Legoshi. <laughs> wow, this was good, you know? The whole interaction between them. Ah, there he is. Yeah, obviously, like, no. Okay. Hmm. Um. Um. <laughs> yeah. he suffered he is still suffering from that like you know oh yeah that thing okay come on like come on okay like you okay calm down Legushi. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay. He is pissed. Mm. <laughs> oh. Okay. What? <laughs> oh my god, this guy, Pina. <laughs> he saved him, you know, in a way. Like, from ruining his reputation. Uh, you need to keep your reputation intact, you know, uh, Legoshi. Because <laughs> Yeah, go back, do your own job. Ah close call. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Yeah, like that's his persona. Oh boy, come on. I don't know, I think he's going to probably target Pina after this or something. I don't know. Ugh. <clears throat> now, you know, uh, in the previous episode when the whole temp situation was brought up to light, like I thought, uh, like, like yeah, obviously, like, uh, it's a proof, like, it's a fact that he did not do it on his own violation. The whole, the whole, like, eating of them, and the whole thing, like, that was because he did not take his med medication and the moon, red moon. Um, but you know, like, he's still playing the persona. Like, he's, he's suffering himself in the inside. But he is still playing the persona and I don't know how to say it, but like, like, I don't know, like, it, it doesn't feel that he has properly understood what he himself has done. 
like he killed them but like he he did not do it knowingly he had the best intention intentions he had the intentions to become them's friend but unfortunately he killed him but after that deed after doing that deed he has still has no you know like remorse and he is kind of and i think like the reason why because he does not have any remorse is to protect himself in some way you know because the moment he starts having remorse for like eating them the whole you know blame would fall on him like he himself will start blaming him and that will shatter his uh, mental balance so because of that he is protecting himself by like by not acknowledging the thing that he did like the wrong thing that he did so that's why he is able to act out his part his persona in front of others so well like he in his you know heart like he knows that he has done a wrong thing but that is being you know uh, safely conserved and not being let out because uh, if that comes out in some way like he's already suffering he is not getting enough like sleep he's unable to sleep at night haunting thoughts are coming to him and also because the medication is also has the side effects on him stuff like that he's suffering because of that but if somehow he acknowledges that yeah the thing that i did i killed them is something wrong and i should not have done it it's my fault and i should probably come clean to everyone and get my punishment if that thing comes out from within his heart he's going to start suffering even more and his mental balance would completely be destroyed he will start suffering more mentally <coughs> so it's like a <clears throat> coping mechanism a way to protect himself so that's why he is still playing the persona of a good bear and in this episode as we saw like uh, like saying this kind of stuff to legoshi acting as if he like has the moral high ground that way and <clears throat> also that's also the reason that he is so scared of pina and legoshi uh, especially you know uh, pina because like i'm sure that he knows that pina can completely change this because legoshi is simple you know a simple type of a wolf like he does not have any kind of tricks up his sleeves he is as we see him he is extremely down to earth so he knows that he can somehow stop legoshi because like in strength like in strength he's stronger than legoshi obviously he is a big bear so he knows that in the, in that department he can stop legoshi and also in the other department that is uh, <coughs> like the like his outer uh, behavior uh, his image using that image he can also uh, stop legoshi because if even if legoshi says something about uh, him uh, without any proof uh, he won't be able to uh, you know put the blame on uh, this because he is such a good bear and everyone like his image is so good that no one would even believe legoshi uh, it might like the reverse might happen like uh, Riz might you know pin the blame on legoshi and people might start believing that yeah legoshi maybe legoshi do, did it that's why he is like uh, like reacting like this uh, something like that might happen like the whole situation can spiral out of control like that so he knows that he can handle legoshi but he does not know how to handle pina because first of all he's a hardy four like you know there's this whole thing with like uh, cannot uh, like uh, the rules and regulations with the herbivores and the carnivores especially in this situation after that whole uh, like snapping of arm situation so <clears throat> that and also uh, like pina is extremely intelligent and uh, like he knows that he'll be in big mess in a big mess if somehow pina makes some kind of plan and tries to trap him in that so that's why I'm, I'm sure like he is getting frustrated at the situation when he saw pina and legoshi talking <coughs> so like pina and legoshi are like you know the best combi like legoshi is with his strength and pina with his uh, intelligence and um, like his craftiness like they can completely destroy like you know destroy someone like that like if they like team up and go against someone 
like <laughs> the opponent will be completely like destroyed if something like that happens so yeah i'm not like i don't know what uh, reese is going to do after this but i don't know like he might start going down the <clears throat> wrong path even more like he is already on the wrong path but like this whole stress this whole situation might make him do even more bad things uh, and he might <clears throat> start going down the like going <clears throat> deep into the wrong path even more like you know like i think maybe he's probably going to like make some plan to stop pina or something like pina is like the weakest uh, like you know uh, comparing like, to ligosh pina is extremely weak so <clears throat> he might try to stop or like do something to pina i don't know let's just wait for it <coughs> okay and okay so this episode um <clears throat> first of all we uh we see this uh, like the whole ivory situation they were talking about louis and uh, the shishigumi now <clears throat> so that was uh a plan made by legoshi and I'm, i'm guessing gohin as well so that <clears throat> they can handle the um so that uh, he can meet louis is that it like he said something regarding that i had to do this like when <coughs> legoshi was captured he said something about like i had to do this because uh, we found out the uh, killer so i had to like <coughs> what did he actually say at that moment like i had to do this because of that just a sec let me just Oh yeah, here it is. I've gotten into uh, gotten myself into all this mess in order to catch him. Okay, so yeah, so <clears throat> So he's doing this for uh something like Okay, so so he like Legoshi did this so that he can like get some clues uh, like involving the whole situation, I'm guessing. Something like that. So yeah, and uh, meeting Luis was I think extremely coincidental. Like he was extremely uh, surprised when he saw Louis. Like I myself was surprised. I was like, "What the hell is uh, like Legoshi doing here?" Like he was like a moment ago he was training in Gohin's house. So <clears throat> like how is this happening? And then I thought, is this some other wolf that just looks like Legoshi? But then when he started, you know, thinking and talking, uh, I said that no, no, this is Legoshi. This is not someone else. So okay. <clears throat> and you know uh, i was extremely impressed at the way ligoshi is uh, you know fighting like <laughs> he gets down and then um, like runs a simulation in his mind like i'm going to do it like this and like uh, you know like uh, analyzing his enemies how like there is this like a uh, carnivore here who is probably going to uh, go straight for me i'll like like a cheetah he can run away so i'll like get a little back like give a feint and then go in front and stop him like uh, sweep his leg out so that he cannot run away then the bird will probably <laughs> like his beak and his voice is the most dangerous thing so first i'll like injure his throat and then like when he comes when the cheetah comes from the back again i'll stop him like that and use the anesthetic that gohin gave him <laughs> wow like like damn like Like he like he's going towards a martial artist route, you know. <laughs> like uh, like Louis is going uh, t- like like walking uh, through the um, like gangster route, like the yakuza kind of route, <laughs> and <laughs> Louis is like trying to be a, like a martial artist. <laughs> wow, that was good. Like I really like that bit when they showed us uh, that. <clears throat> and then we get uh, like after that we get to the portion where like uh, louis uh, legoshi is in gohin's house and uh, okay so this uh, carnivore comes in and so the carnivore has killed two ferrets before and uh, gohin found uh, her and like after i'm sure like after rehabilitating her she is fine now and like he, she takes her medications and stuff so that like the predatory instincts do not come back <clears throat> now uh like like uh, legoshi asks uh, asks a good question here like why didn't you not uh, 
hand her over to the police. So here's the thing, like as I was saying in this before, while like the while I was reacting to it, um, if he uh, hands her over to the police, what's going to happen? Like she is going to spend her uh, some time in uh, prison for I'm guessing a few months or like a few years. Then like obviously like this is not something that she has done uh like on her own like her predatory instincts was the reason so it's not like that she, like she did this because in like because of some malice in her heart like that is not the case so she would be like off pretty easily for like i think one or two years she'll be kept like in, uh, in prison and then she'll come out then what like then someday he might she might do it again so the problem is not solved so that's why Gohin uh, took her in. Uh, I'm sure they like, gave her the same training uh, that she gave. He gave Legoshi, and <clears throat> made her able to like kind of cured her problem. And I'm sure like that is uh, like you know more important than like handing her over to the police. Now, uh, if there are like you know uh, if like Gohin comes across uh, a certain carnivore who has done the same thing as the uh, like carnivore in this that uh, lady did in this episode. <clears throat> but he or she, like uh, uh, that carnivore is not at all ashamed of it and is saying that yeah i did it because i wanted to do it and i'll do it again stuff like that like long story short if the carnivore is evil you know if that is the case then okay like uh, rehabilitating him won't do any like give like make like won't be any help like so that like that carnivore you can <clears throat> hand him over to the authorities or something and yeah but people who are you know like unconsciously doing these kind of things they're not at fault like it's more like uh you know like if you were born a carnivore then like like your instincts kind of make you a criminal this is like more like that like that's not something that you know um like that it's not their fault that they're born a carnivore you know so yeah like I don't know like in my opinion like this world has some rules you know uh, like the, the rules that carnivores have to maintain all of those stuff like those types of rules but <clears throat> the main problem is not resolved like they have rules for it but <clears throat> like you know like they gave like the rules won't help you when someone uh, is like unconsciously try like killing someone because of their predatory instincts and that person is not even at fault it's the fault of the instincts so <clears throat> it's like a very lack like not lackluster but a very <clears throat> vague type of a rule which kind of protects the herbivores but if like <clears throat> problem arises that rule won't protect them in any way like they're not curing the disease they are just suppressing it it's more like that so i'm I, like i think like you know the thing that gohin is doing i think that uh, this thing should like like to cure like to cure the problem this thing should be you know kind of <clears throat> practiced more uh, like uh, should be more widespread but uh, like unfortunately there's not no such thing carnivores are born carnivores and they have these kind of rules slapped into their face without even uh, like without even giving them any kind of uh, you know <clears throat> way that they can protect the rules like they're just given these kind of rules and like said that yeah you you have to do this uh, you should like you should keep your predatory instincts suppressed in front of the herbivores all these kind of stuff they're shown but when problem arises like what are they even going to do like so yeah that's like the problem here but anyways so Gohin is doing a good job you know <clears throat> and and then we get to the uh, school portion where we see the, uh, uh, I forgot her his name like he able to, he was able to uh, move his hands like this <laughs> and <clears throat> they uh, like made up I was not expecting that so quickly I was sure that they uh, like they would made up eventually but would have made up but like, so quickly I was not expecting so yeah it's good you know like, and <clears throat> then we get to the main beat bit that is uh, Legoshi, Luis and the Shichigumi so I was really uh, like surprised I was thinking like why even is Luis here like uh, Legoshi here like what is he even doing here 
Like, did he get mixed up into this mess or something? But we get the, got the answer later on. And like in the beginning, Louis was like, you know, uh, thinking like, yeah, like this, uh, like Legoshi <clears throat> tricked me and stuff like that. Like he was getting the wrong idea about the whole situation. But uh, I'm sure like he got that uh, misunderstanding got resolved later on uh, when sh like he did not find any, you know, uh, smell of any meat uh, on um, <clears throat> Legoshi. And they had a little bit of a conversation um, which kind of showed that uh, Louis probably would never like go back unless and until he, you know, uh, you know establishes himself and he becomes stronger in a truer sense unless and until that that happens he probably won't come back and uh, <clears throat> uh legoshi now legoshi says uh, one thing here like um uh, what is that like yeah you have something i lack now here's the thing, uh, something that the world needs, the dignity of a heart before, yeah, now that's the thing, you know, so, so that's why he wanted uh, Louis to come back, but Louis uh, like has already decided, he has decided that he won't go back unless and until he stands up for himself, and one thing I was quite surprised here is uh, how sh the sh Shishigumi, other Shishigumi members reacted to this. Like, we already know that Ibuki uh, like, is loyal to uh, Louis, but I was a bit skeptical about the other members, you know, like, uh, as the other members kind of said before that, uh, like, when are we going to eat him or something like that. Like, uh, them showing that, yeah, they still do not, uh, you know, uh, think of him as a leader. But uh, this episode kind of proved me wrong in a, in a way. Uh, I'm not sure why they, like, if they did that because they genuinely respected Louis or because, like, they need him, especially in this uh, moment because, you know, he's a hard before and, like, things are going well because of that. I don't know which was it, but, like, either way, like, they kind of stood up for him. So that's good, you know. Like, uh, so, like, not only Ibuki, like, others also kind of respect him and i'm sure like they'll respect him even more of like as time goes on like louis has that thing like that uh, charismatic um, leadership qualities all of those so yeah and <clears throat> another thing that uh, louis said in this episode is that uh like don't stop like you like why are you stopping like i've already started walking on the uh, on the dark path but you are in the light, so go ahead and like you know, uh, pro like progress on that path and become the hero that we need. So like yeah, it's quite true, you know. The like they're kind of walking in different directions completely. Like um, Louis is kind of going in the anti-hero path, and Legoshi is going uh like you know going across the like the hero path. So, like, both of them want good things, but the way Lu Luis is doing it is kind of in the opposite direction. So, yeah, like, you know, so, yeah, like, so now, like, Luis, uh, not Luis, like, Legoshi needs to become that person, that hero that he wants to be. And, like, and, like uh, Luis also has that faith. In him kind of and yeah like I I'm glad they had a you know uh, a conversation a proper conversation like they in the, in the like the, in the first episode I think they kind of like talked for a bit not I, I think the first or the second episode like when Louis came um, back and said that I'm leaving this place something like that like, it was a really messy situation like they didn't even have a proper conversation at that moment so I'm glad that they had not this is obviously like not a co proper conversation they were kind of like you know at gunpoint he was kind of at gunpoint but still like they had uh more like a better conversation that than the previous one so yeah i'm sure like this will boost legoshi's confidence even for a bit 
and then we get to the next situation where like uh reese is there and reese is playing his persona of the good bear and <laughs> Like, yeah, obviously, like, that was an extremely irritating, uh, you know, uh, extremely irritating kind um, situation. Like, the way Riz was kind of taking the moral high ground and saying stuff like kind of demeaning um, uh, uh, Legoshi and trying to, you know, like, paint him as a bad guy. So, that was extremely, like, you know, bad, like, the thing that he was doing in that situation. And like uh, provoking uh, Legoshi, and Legoshi also got provoked there, and got mad. Like I don't blame him. Like I would have even gotten mad, angry at that situation. But thankfully, Ina was there. He like caught what uh, like Riz was trying to do, you know. So <clears throat> uh, like Pina came to the rescue, <laughs> helped Legoshi at that moment by saying that. The <laughs> The thing that he broke I had feelings and stuff like what what did he say at that moment like um uh, okay here it is help it hurts <laughs> I, I i had a go at channeling the equipment's feelings <laughs> oh my god wow that was a good you know distraction that he did and uh, like you know everyone's like uh, started uh, focusing on him at that moment so yeah like everyone was focusing on Lego, uh, Lego sheep and but doing that kind of took their attention uh, onto him and yeah that was good Legoshi also you know caught himself and like calmed himself down at that moment he collected himself and yeah and then they had a little bit of a talk Pina and Legoshi and Riz was looking at that and I'm sure like he is frustrated at that because you know like those two are the people who knows that uh, he did the deed so like if they somehow like you know like starts proactively like starts trying to uh, trap Riz and somehow bring his crimes into light he'll be it at a problem he'll be at a big disadvantage because Ina is intelligent and Louis uh, Legoshi, Legoshi is strong yeah brain and brawn <laughs> okay so yeah that was it that was this episode this was uh b star season 2 episode number 9 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys um i'll be back with another episode of b stars uh, season 2 next week same time and until then goodbye and have a nice day